In reality, no. But in essence, how do you use it that it brings balance in, in the body of the man? When you take a Gans water of zinc, you don't take the zinc. You create a dimension of the pool from the environment that it takes things from the environment to reach to the part of the body of the man which is needed. This is the understanding of it. When you take uh, zinc in a higher order, does not mean that you're actually feeding the body. It travels through the body and creates a motion of the field that those cells who need it, they take from the environment, what they need from the environment of the cell or the lymph of the man for the cell which is needed. It's a misconception that I stop taking physical, if you take your physical zinc, yes, you do that kind of interaction, but now you create a plasma of the zinc, not the zinc. This is why I tell you, always take the water of the GANS, not the GANS. Because it's there as it goes through your body, the body balances in what it needs. But how come you just think? It's, um, it's what I call a uh, waste of a bullet to create any condition. It's a waste of time. It is, if you get the zinc, for what reason you're taking the zinc? And secondly, how do you connect it to your body? This is what I tell you. We say in Indian, all we say is Nim Hakim Khatare John. Means half doctor is danger to life. If you are taking zinc, are you taking the zinc for what purpose? If you're taking zinc, are you taking the amino acid of it? How much of the amino acid? Because you need to connect it to the protein. Mm. I throw an arrow, but I don't know where I'm shooting at. It might land somewhere, but it has nowhere to land except fall off. Because where is the amino acid that you connected to the body? But you made the amino acid connection, but where is the line of connection to the body of the man which you need, which is a carbon, where is your CO2? And then if you made that connection, you need the amino acid of CO2 as well, that you make the right connection to the right cell condition. Then it comes, are you targeting the zinc in the neurosystem in the main channel? Are you looking for a neurosystem in the arteries of the uh, neurosystem? Are you going for the brain because it's a different zinc totally and it needs a different combination to connect to it? Mm. This is what I explained recently. And I explain again, if I can use my whiteboard, please. You have a neural system and with it, you have the nerve system. And here you have the limbs. The body, the brain of the man sends a specific information for a specific cell here, both through the emotion line, the blood, which is a magnetic field flow, and a current through the neural system. And depending on the salinity of the environment, because these two match specifically for this cell, this cell will be produced or nourished. So in fact, what are you targeting? Have you understood how to transfer the signal through the magnetic field flow, which is the oxygen, and carry information through the electric current through the copper, that the interaction of these two creates a specific length for a cell of the heart, for example, which is damaged. I can do that because I carry the knowledge. I know what it needs to be. But you get something and I hope something and I hope I make this. Hopes stays in a lot of places. This is why in the development of the technology, when you come to it, we target even the position of this thing. We make a patch for it. This is where we want it to be. What's the purpose of the patches? 
Why do you breed with the breeding system? Because through the breeding system, you feed the emotion inside. You do everything half cooked, one thing out of 10 and you expect, oh, something wrong with that. No, sir, you have not understood the technology. Even with the people who have cancer or they come to me with everything, I give them guideline. They have to do, because I know the emotional sense prevail over the physicality. They have to handle, they have to understand. And this is why I tell knowledge seekers, you make your cancers the way you think, and the emotion you carry will dictate this cancer cell will move or will stay. How much do you want to live? That, that cell, Mr. Kesh taught us about the cancer, because you do not want to live, because I show you the way. It's you in the emotion, for the reasons of living, you decided. I'm not there to decide for your physicality. We had this very recently, in the past two or three years, one of the top guys in Keshe Foundation and the cancer, and he passed away. From the beginning, I asked him, he said, this life I don't want to leave, Mr. Keshe. It's too much pain, it's too much suffering. I said, you choose the path, I gave you everything. He said, I have to go through it till it's over. And everybody says, Mr. Keshe, why don't you help the guy? Because I speak to them the way they want to have. Their attachment. As I said, I called the donor and said, thank you very much. What do you want? I just donated. I don't care. But I said, Keshe Foundation is not a charity that it takes money. And we're not opening second Vatican. I would like to do this with what you have donated. Yes, okay, we go that way. This is the way it's done. And it's the way I do with the knowledge seekers. There are selected people I try to help, which are um, take, give advice to, and then they consult with their doctors what they do in certain positions. It's them who have to decide because the soul, the deep inside the soul of the man is at. Not just say, taking a copper or taking a zinc and it doesn't work. What do you want to do with it? As I always said, you are planning, you have forgotten your own creation and halfway you want to do things. You are made of three things. In a way, your body is made of the air, the physicality, and the water. And the body of the man is no different. You breathe the air, so you have to fix this air part. You drink the water because you have to physically put this into it. And then you have the other part, which is your emotion. You have to fix the physical part which has come into it. You're made of three elements of this planet. You have to support all of it. The drinking water is what you drink, goes through your body. It's embodiment of your creation. Are you taking enough water with it? You make a system to cover your physicality with the water or with a patch or whatever. And then you breathe there, which is another dimension. You have. When you, and then in each one, you have to write the right connection to connect to it, not just because I take it. And this is why when I get involved, if I have to take a direction in it, in the process, I know exactly what I do, but I still leave one option all the time to people. The emotion of the man. I'm not in that soul to know what it really wants. We've shown that in ILS. They want to stay alive. We give them every opportunity, but the wish to die is much more stronger than to live because they do not have what they wanted. They lost that essence of loving and creation. And that's it. I don't have, I don't get, why do we get so much ILS nowadays from sports people or actresses? Because they don't get what they came in for. They wanted to be the top footballer. We got paid one million less than the other. We want to be the best actor. We didn't get it to us. I wish I'd die. Why do we have the top actor, actresses in America have opened a charity for ILS for new actors, actresses? And we see this, 
because the wish and the will of the soul of the man is much stronger than physicality because it has created it. The man's emotion is the cause of his own demise or elevation of his own soul.